Greece, land of the free, birthplace of democracy and Western civilization. For hundreds of centuries, this mythical state has painstakingly guarded the borders between socialism and barbarism, logos and violence, freedom and slavery. What would Europe be without Greece but a headless horse galloping aimlessly through the Balkans, never reaching the promised land of the Ubermensch? No Greece, no horsemen. No horsemen, no apocalypse. But Greece needs its European brothers too. Phil Helens from all over the world, French revolutionaries, German art curators, British economists, all eager to pollinate the blossoms of this blessed place. While traveling in Greece, you might be scared that your life is coming to an end. All outsiders find it difficult to adjust to this prospect. Fear not, this is normal. Initiation is key, and it's only when you are trapped here forever that you can appreciate the wine and the vine leaves, the fables of anti-Zionist taxi drivers, the assemblies of radical heroes of the patriotic alt-left, and the ecstatic dances of the indignant nymphs at Syntagma Square, their Dionysian trance paving the way to a pan-European renaissance. This is the land of the unbroken, a chimera of courage and oblivion. Clear skies, booming art scenes, the golden yellow of the Retsina wine, the honey and ambrosia of contemporary Airbnb. And through the streets of Athens lies a timeless tableau of ancient temples and self-organized collectives waiting to be discovered. From Sophocles to Slavoj Žižek, everyone is welcome in Greece. Join the revolution. <laughs>